Hi, somebody asked for a little breakdown on It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. I was sure I'd already put this up, but apparently I can't find a video, so here it is. Okay, so this intro starts on the open D, and we're... we're we're going from the open D to the right back to the D. So that's the fourth uh, note on the um, uh, fifth string. So basically, we're basically going like that. Uh, you know, we're just going D, D flat, D flat, D flat, D, 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 D flat, D flat. You know, we're just hammering back. I like having this open because then you can slide into the E minor so it's so it goes all the way down the you know E minor then back to the fourth string or just you know side lift. So there's the E minor notes. It's it's a little disingenuous to say like that. D has that little pinky catching the third fret of the high E. And then before it does the slide, it has a little, little it, it hits the fifth string again, which is, you know, ready holding the E minor. Now I'm in the D holding this note right here. So it's just uh, on the second string, four, uh, three, three, two, open A, G, D, that little pinky, A, G, E minor. So that's E minor. Walk up to G. That hold D. Now, strictly speaking, the song goes F sharp minor. Okay, so there's some nuances to this though and some alternates. So um, the first alternate is that instead of doing the F sharp minor here, you can do it here. So the difference between the A sharp, the, the uh, F sharp minor and the A is just lifting up the pinky. Here's the F sharp. Now lift up the pinky.
one of those alternates instead of just doing the same E minor. What you can do is you can go to the high E minor. Okay, so that's an E minor. And I hit it so it and slide down. Then on this G here, I go up the notes. So I'm going up the G. Now there's a D here. So it sounds like this, first time. So that's an alternate. An alternate is, strictly speaking, I think the song is written as being an F sharp minor to an A, but somehow along the way I learned it as going to this B minor. gets to uh, really elaborating, let's say that you are singing, you know, in a, um, the, the, oh, come on, do. oh, it's all over now, baby, you need less ornamentation when you're singing. just an A, right? You notice I just bar my A by just smearing these onto the, the three fingers here. Um, strictly speaking, I'm muting the top string, but it's not a conscious thing. It's more just get the feeling for it. So that's the nice thing about, you know, anytime you have a, a barred bar chord A, C. Okay, so this is, we've just had this.
then once you get the real pattern of the notes, you can really pound these lower notes. You know, kind of like. from uh, Take Me to the River. So it's got that kind of... different sound is I'm on the D here and I can just do the same thing and slide into another D right so the first time they're By the way, whenever you have any bar chord, the flattened one underneath it, you know, here's an A. Many people know it this way. I hold my A like this. The reason being, I say this a lot of things, but a standard bar chord with your thumb in the back of it, look at the angle of the wrist. When I slide it around, it's the normal, the thumb is picking up the bass note on the chord. And you see, it, this is the way you pick up an object. It's very strong. And by flattening it, you're getting this D. It's also very fast, by the way, for this. You know, this whole, um, um, this whole, um, it's just so fast. Um, what what are the, also, I'll use it. Whatever song it is, just that flattening. So, going back to this, we have this um, this uh, B minor. You know, that's just these these two notes here. It's an E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, A minor. So I'm I'm trying to keep this finger out of the way so you can see it's just these, and then here's your B minor. That's what I'm saying as an accent, we're just going. Um, in the same way as we're here, we're going G. This is a D. Flattening, it gives you the G. That's what we're doing here. We're getting that G note here for the D. That's, that's why it's a good accent note for the D. Okay, so just a final run through, kind of incorporating some of these things.
So what somebody specifically wanted to make sure they got was this. So hopefully that's clear. Um, and again, uh, you know, you can always ping me in the comment section if there's something that uh, wasn't clear about what I was doing. And uh, enjoy.